grocery. Amen. <laughs> In just a few minutes, you're going to hear from um, quite a few of our, our congregation members about their testimonies about what what DCFI has done to help change our lives. And so when Pastor asked me to give my testimony, I knew that I was doing the offering, so I thought I would just combine the two, if that's all right with you. Um, I'm not the same person that I was when I walked into the doors on Zunis almost eight years ago. Amen. Um, God has done a mighty work in me. And when I, when I pondered the question of what DCFI has done to change my life, I thought about you guys. I thought about you because you're the church. You are DCFI. And you have poured into me encouragement and blessings and sometimes correction. <laughs> but, but most importantly, you've poured into me something that I didn't have growing up. I didn't have encouragers in my life to tell me that I could do the things that I wanted to do. But you and God helped me realize that I, Christina, can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And when I, when I thought about where you learned it, it, it took me to a text that I sent to Pastor last night. And I thought about all the people who, who told him that a church like this would never make it. A church like this in, in the, you know, the buckle of the Bible belt would never make it. But God told him... You, Pastor Chuck, can do all things through me who gives you strength. Right. And then he taught that to you. You, DCFI, we, DCFI, can do all things through Christ oh, who gives us strength. And so that's why it's easy for me to stand here today and want to pour out to you because you poured out to me. But not only just to you, but I want to pour out to this ministry because of the Christinas that are sitting in this congregation and the Christinas that are watching by the internet, and the Christinas that will walk through the door, and the Christinas that may never even make it through these doors, but we might see them at Quick Trip or at the grocery store or even at our jobs. It's because somebody out there needs encouragement. Yes. You guys gave that to me, and so I hope that every day I'm able to give that back to you. I want to pour out to this ministry, and the one way that I know how to do it is through my tithe and offering. And so I encourage you to take your tithes and offerings into your hands and stand to your feet. Let's pray over them this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you right now. And we just thank you for this group of people, Lord. And we thank you for all that you're doing in our lives, Lord. I pray right now a special blessing over each and every person today, Lord. I thank you that you're meeting them right where they are, Lord. I thank you for encouragement in our lives, Lord. And I thank you that we're becoming the people that you have called us to be. We give you all the praise and all the glory, and it's in the name of Jesus that we pray. And the church says, Amen. Amen. Bring your tithes and offerings in. 